Hi, I'm Robin Levesque, and I work with organizations that want to co-create a culture of positive leadership at every level. To reduce the cost of stress, absenteeism, and turnover, and to increase employee engagement, effectiveness, and client satisfaction. Happy boss, happy employee, happy client. Now that's a winning formula. Grumpy boss, grumpy employee, grumpy client, not so much. So one of the things that I want to talk about today is the eight human needs, the eight human physical needs uh, with a bonus. I've got nine. And where this journey started for me was, uh, it's a COVID story. The, I, I call this the COVID summer. Well, my COVID summer started in September of 2019, so well before COVID landed on the shores of North America. My COVID summer started with a diagnosis that I had a massive kidney stone on my left side and that it would have to be removed surgically along with the kidney. So I had to come to terms with that. And uh, once I did, I had committed to getting the surgery, uh, which was scheduled around January. And uh, in between that time, so in, in December and January, this kidney stone was causing massive inflammation in my body. And uh, there were some days in December and January that I had a hard time walking to the washroom. That's how much pain I was in. So when I recovered from that inflammation in January, the commitment that I made was to get in the best shape possible in preparation for my surgery so that I could recover as quickly as possible. I live in Victoria, British Columbia on the beautiful west coast of Canada and spring hits pretty early here. So in January, February, I started walking my dog every day for about 45 minutes. We had a, a path set out. So we did that 45 minutes. I got back into my yoga practice. I got into doing weights when I could, when my health would allow it. And uh, the call in January, of course, didn't come because that's when uh, some of this uh, COVID uh, events started happening. Uh, so January, February went by. I finally got the call in June. I got a two weeks notice that I was going in for surgery by now, I was walking 10,000 steps a day with, uh, with or without my dog. Uh, so sometimes I would expand my walk to, to, to downtown Victoria, add a second walk during the day, continue doing my yoga and so on. And quite frankly, I was in very good condition when I showed up for my surgery. Uh, I was the same weight at age 55 that I was when I was age 18. Same musculature, so same measurements. My body measurements were the same, same weight. Um, of course, I've, I've aged a little bit around the face, the, lost a little bit of hair, lost a bit of, uh, have a little bit more of white hair on the face, but uh, for the most part, I, you know, I, at 55, I look pretty much like I did at 18. So that was a great way to go into my surgery. Uh, the day of the surgery, they had me walking that very same day. They released me the next day, even though I was supposed to stay three nights uh, in the hospital. And the very next week, I was back walking with my dog, Chico, which was a, a wonderful. In July, I had the pleasure of attending Mind Valley University, which had to go online this year, uh, rather than its original lo location in Amsterdam. And uh, the first speaker there was Eric Edmeads. And he really impressed me with the presentation on the eight human physical needs. And what impressed me even more was the fact that somehow, I had guesstimated at so many of these practices already. A lot of what he was talking about was exactly what I started doing in January. So uh, Eric's first requirement for human physical needs is air. So number one is air, in particular oxygen. We absolutely need it to survive. Cut off the oxygen, we're dead in no time. So he covered a, a couple of techniques to do that. My favorite techniques for, for breathing is first go outside and walk around. That's a really good way to get in some air. Uh, but also there's a breathing technique that's quite effective. Uh, it's called the 2X breathing technique. So basically you breathe out 
twice as long as you breathe in, and that really helps to stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system, which is one that helps to put the brakes on stress. So what you do is you breathe in for two seconds, you can hold, and then breathe out for four. You can breathe in three, out six, four, out eight. That's the idea. Breathe out twice as long as you breathe in. Eric's second requirement for human needs is water. Good, clean water. Drink lots of it. And I like to think of the rule of eight by eight. So eight glasses of eight ounces per day uh, is good hydration for the body. Like I said in my last video, that's one of the first things I do in the morning is to drink a full eight ounce glass of water. And I continue that practice throughout the day. For your information, pop and coffee, that's not water. Water is water, okay? So keep it clean, keep it simple, keep hydrating. Number three on Eric's list is sleep. Now, everybody requires a different amount of sleep. For me, I know it's exactly seven and a half is what I require to get up well rested, and that coincides with my 90 minute sleep cycles. So if you add a bunch of those up, it'll come up to seven and a half hours. Uh, some people require eight, some people six. Kind of varies between six and eight, but make sure you get plenty of sleep. And uh, one of the good ways of doing that is to turn off all of your electronic devices one or two hours before going to sleep, having some kind of nighttime practice. I like to meditate myself to sleep. So whatever works for you. The fourth element on the list is macronutrients. So calories essentially, which are made up of fat, protein, and carbohydrates. So making sure that you're getting plenty of all of these resources into your diet, enough calories to maintain your body weight and your lifestyle in terms of uh, exercise and physical activities. Number five on Eric's list is movement. Okay, so moving around, um, you'll see that today is a beautiful day. We're reaching the end of the day at the soup potholes close to Victoria. So every day I try to go outside in nature, but on weekends and on some other days, I like to make, I like to make it a little more special. I like to come out to environments like this. Uh, I am so blessed where I live. There are so many great trails and uh, places to visit that are outdoors in nature. Uh, I like to take it in. So today we're doing a little bit of hiking around. We're filming some videos, uh, spending some quality time with uh, my friend, Mehdi Pia. And uh, number six, sunlight. Again, another reason to go outside. You know, what, what were most of us told during COVID is stay inside, you know, don't spend time with other people, social distance, um, avoid contact and so on. But somehow, because of where I live and because of getting in, in, in better health, I was able to get outside every day and spend time with the sun shining down on my face and taking in the sunlight. Uh, vitamin D is produced by your own body when you are exposed to sunlight. So sunlight is number six on the list. Number seven is your micronutrients. So these are non-calorie items that are in food like minerals and vitamins. So making sure that you have an adequate supply of those. And the number eight human need, which really surprised me when Eric was talking about it, is human touch. Wow, how COVID has impacted that as well, right? So uh, all of these elements were impacted in an event like COVID but human touch especially. And uh, what occurred to me when I was listening to his presentation is I may not have had human touch during my physical health journey, but I had a dog that I walked every day and petting your dog is almost the next best thing to physical touch. Another thing that I discovered later on uh, are practices to give yourself self massage and also to stroke your arms that is practiced in Japanese yoga and uh, some other speakers talk about the, the benefits of stroking your arms in this fashion as well. 
So another practice that you can do. So there you have it, folks. Those are the eight human physical needs, and I promised a ninth one. Number nine, spend time in nature. Have a great day. Hope to see you next time on my future videos. Thank you.